Sterngold, a company of distinction providing dental prosthetic solutions since 1897, presents the ERA Non-Engaging Implant Coping. Ideally, two or more freestanding implant stud abutments in an arch should be within 5 degrees parallel to adjacent abutments for optimal results. When implants are out of the desired alignment, angle correction abutments can be utilized to correct the non-parallelism. With a specifically designed implant coping, the practitioner can simply make the impression and direct the laboratory to angle correct all intended abutments for next appointment delivery. To begin the process, screw the specifically designed one-piece non-engaging impression coping into each implant. Hand tighten impression coping using the appropriate friction driver. Verify that each impression coping is completely seated. Radiographic verification can be used. Once the impression copings are properly seated, begin to prepare the impression tray. Place an adapted clear implant tray centering the implant impression copings into the tray trough. Observe the implant coping centered in the tray. Place PVS adhesive, followed by injecting a ribbon of extra fast rigid PVS material into the tray, allowing more material in the area of edentulism and a much smaller amount opposite the implant copings and the palate. Place back into the mouth carefully centering the tray. Once set, remove and inspect. Remove any excess material as needed. Then, place PVS adhesive on all tray borders and apply the rigid PVS material covering all tray borders and the posterior of the tray to capture necessary peripheral anatomy. Have patient move facial muscles to obtain a functional anatomy. Inspect and then perform a final wash impression. Apply a light viscosity PVS directly over the implant copings in the mouth and into the tray interior in all areas except the implant copings. Now apply the rigid PVS into the tray over the implant coping locations. Then place back into the mouth and have the patient repeat functional border molding. including the post-palatal area with the patient coughing while occluding their nostrils. When the material has set, remove and inspect. It is very important to note that each non-engaging impression coping is location-specific to each corresponding implant and must be used only with that implant due to thread time. In other words, the start and stop points of the threaded part of the non-engaging impression copings are unique to each component. Therefore, they must not be mixed up in the operatory or the laboratory. Using the friction driver, it is easy to just unscrew the non-engaging copings. To avoid thread time discrepancies, remove the impression copings one at a time. Connect the appropriate implant replica. and insert the unit back into the correct location in the impression, guided by two large flat sides. It is important to make a soft tissue model to allow complete seating of the abutments. The use of a dental surveyor is now utilized. Tilt the surveyor table to the desired path of insertion for the overdenture, considering the trajectory of the implants. Using a gauge, it is determined that in this particular case, the left impression coping is angled 5 degrees from the one on the right. The next one is angled by 17 degrees. The ERA correction abutments will be used to correct the non-parallel implants. These two-piece abutments are available in 5, 11, 17, 23, and 30 degrees.
If the implants are parallel to the overdenture's path of insertion, a zero-degree one-piece abutment with the appropriate cuff height is utilized. The appropriate female is snapped into each base using a plastic alignment handle. The females are rotated until they line up with a zero-degree abutments. An indelible pen is used to mark a line across the junction between each female and base for cementing accuracy. The female is separated from the base. Resin cement is added to both parts. And the female is snapped firmly back into the base. Excess cement is removed. The plastic handles are slowly bent 90 degrees sideways to remove without disturbing the newly cemented union as a precaution. It is recommended that the abutments are delivered to the doctor in place on the model while following proper disinfection guidelines so that the position of each is carefully noted and placed into the mouth in the correct location. It is best to unscrew each abutment from the model, one at a time, to be sure that they are transferred into the correct implant and tightened to 20 newtons of torque. When observed from several angles, it is apparent that all the ERA attachments are optimally parallel so that the insertion of the overdenture is easy and the males can provide a longer life. After the black ERA males are processed into the denture, they are then replaced with the white or orange nylon inserts. This change from the black processing nylon to the white or orange nylon activates 0.4 millimeters of space between the males and females. This allows true vertical resiliency. Thank you from the Sterngold Company. Sterngold, a company of distinction providing dental prosthetic solutions since 1897.